What's up, Vontaine? It's your boy, Summer Explosive, back again. I'm here today outside Glasgow Queen Street, here on George Square. And in today's video, I'm going to be asking, does Glasgow need a bit more investment in bus routes? I'm going to be testing out a route that's relatively new to Glasgow. And I'll also be looking to see if it provides a good business case for more bus routes, more bus services to places in Glasgow, just outside Glasgow, just the whole surrounding area. I need to go catch the bus. Um, I'm actually early this time, so I'm gonna go around the corner and tell you a bit more about the bus route. So yeah, let's go. There are many towns and villages around Glasgow that lack a rail service, and Straven is one of them. Located around 50 miles from Glasgow, Straven should typically be well connected with Scotland's largest city, right? <laughs> For a number of years, till 2022, there wasn't a regular public transport service that linked Glasgow to Straven until the 3C bus trip was launched by Climate Action Straven, who are a charity working to raise awareness about climate change and work towards a more sustainable Straven. Note the climate change reference of a 3 degree temperature increase in the 3C route number. Clever. Before commencing the route, Climate Action Straven worked on a number of small scale initiatives, including a cycle repair shop, e-bike hire, a community fridge and a car club. Recognising the high levels of car traffic through Straven and the nearby town of Stonehouse, Climate Action Straven recognised the potential of a direct bus route through to Glasgow. Have a look at this TV interview here. In 2022, a crowdfunder was launched and nearly £2,000 was raised to fund the trial for 13 weeks. Since its first journey in October 2022, the service has become a permanent route, demonstrating the wild success of the initiative. I could see a queue forming about 30 minutes before departure. It makes sense as a number of previous lunchtime departures would end up reaching capacity. Note that even though the bus stop here has a 3C on the signage, there isn't any other reference to it here. Oh, and the bus stop's a bit further down the road if you're wondering. On boarding, I paid a cheeky £6 for my single journey by card, with a return costing £12 and a 10 journey ticket costing an affordable £40. Concessions, including the over 65s, the under 22s, and disabled passengers, get free travel. On board, there were a mix of college and uni students, aunties coming back from shopping, and a family too. It was a nice mix of people. The seats are as standard as you get them. To be fair, there is no need for premium Arabian leather seats engineered by an artisanal grass-fed horse from Milan, as it's most likely that a journey will only be around 30 to 45 minutes. And here we go, leaving right on time. Climate Action Straven run five return services between Straven and Glasgow, Monday through Saturday, with our journey from Glasgow running onto the M8 motorway, onto the M73 motorway, then the M74 motorway, and branching off at Junction 8 onto the A71. The service's first stops are in Stonehouse. Stonehouse, interestingly, was designated to be developed into one of Scotland's new towns. Check out my video here. However, nothing more than 90 or so homes were built following a shake-up in urban planning in the Strathclyde region. A few folk got off around the town and we even had someone take the short journey down the road to Straden. Honestly, this route may seem like nothing special to the regular Joe. However, to the residents of Straven and Stonehouse, this bus has become a convenient option for people studying, working and hanging out in Glasgow without having to change in either East Kilbride or Hamilton. 
This allows people to leave their cars at home and consequently reduce traffic in and around the towns, resulting in lower carbon emissions. Unlike a lot of towns in Glasgow, Straven hasn't seen a railway service, except for its miniature railway, since 1965, which would link them to Glasgow, nearby Darvel, which you actually can't get a bus to from here, and Kilmarnock. This example shows that if local authorities and transport companies could identify areas that would benefit from better transport connections, they would need to act upon it and get the service running. Build it and people will come. None of this twice a day in the morning malarkey. None of this Sunday only at 3.52 a.m. BS. People want to see an affordable, regular service that they can rely on. Glasgow is a key example of a city with gaps in its transport network, which could be addressed by new bus services as you can see, the city has a very radial bus network, with a lot of services basically made to feed the city centre with 9 to 5 people, with only a handful of services crossing these routes and linking them up, albeit rather infrequently. I can give you an example of the missed potential of a bus route that would benefit people in Glasgow. Like bro, isn't the 75 from Chateaulay, Castle Milk, to Milton supposed to be one of Glasgow's flagship services? Why isn't there a night bus out to either destination? The 75 is important as it reaches areas that Glasgow's extensive railway system doesn't. What do you think from Postal Park, Kalmanek, or Springburn need to do for a bus home after a hefty night out at Cat House or Club Tropicana or something? I do have another few in mind, but those suggestions would be filled with a whole load of asterisks. And here we are, Straven Town Centre. Around 45 minutes after departure, culminating a nice and smooth journey. Oh, so we've reached Straven, uh, about 15 minutes late, but that's because there was traffic coming out of Glasgow. Oh, the journey was nice and easy. Honestly, it gets you from point A to point B, and honestly, it was full. There was probably about five or six spaces uh, empty on the bus. But now I'm going to show you, well, in about 25 minutes, how hard it is to get back into Glasgow, or how hard it was to get into Glasgow if this bus there wasn't in operation. So. First, I'm going to have a look around Straven, see what's around here, and yeah, meet you back at the bus stop in 25 minutes. I think that Straven is a unique case study around Glasgow, with similar sized towns like Kirk and Tillich, Kilsyth and Erskine having direct buses into Glasgow, and Climate Action Straven have shown the benefits environmentally and socially of increasing public transport options in their local area. For a second, I thought I missed my bus. I looked at the time, I was like, the bus is in literally like five minutes, but it was the one the other direction. Because they both come the same way for some reason. Whew. Bus is in six minutes. You got this. To show how complicated the journey would have been without the bus, I decided to head back into Glasgow using the bus and the train, which takes over double the time and requires a bus into Hamilton or East Kilbride, but I went to Hamilton with either the 254 or a 256 and a train into Glasgow where journey times can be impacted by a delay or an untimely length of connection time. The bus and train journey cost him into the bus ride, but without the seamless direct journey.
and we're here at Glasgow Central Low Level. My battery is just about to die. If you like the video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, all that stuff. Um, yeah, content coming soon. It's been your boy, someone explores. Glasgow Central, see you in a bit. Later. Woo. <laughs> I don't do me about it here about it, so it's